Uh, welcome to the enrollment session of that university. So uh, uh, this is the first school, uh, International School of International Relations and uh, Public Affairs. Uh, welcome. And uh, briefly, our school is called uh, also uh, called SIRPA. Uh, we call it uh, SERPA. So welcome to uh, 2024 SERPA English Total Programs enrollment session. Um, this is Ping Chang. Uh, and uh, first of all, I will introduce the very briefly introduce the uh, programs in our school. Then we have uh, all directors of each program here, and they will uh, further introduce each program uh, in detail. So here, as listed, we have one in uh, English taught doctor program, which is international politics, and we also have four other master programs. There are Chinese politics and the diplomacy, international public policy, food and science poll dual degree program, and also Campus Asia program. So uh, briefly, we have one international politics doctoral program and the four master programs. Um, then let's invite uh, each of the director uh, to introduce each program in detail. So first of all, let's welcome uh, Professor Yu Bowen. Uh, he is the director of international politics doctoral program, and he will give the details of the this program. Hello, everyone. Uh, it's a great honor to uh, be here to introduce the doctoral program of international politics. Uh, briefly, we call it a DPIP program. Uh, so uh, let me uh, briefly introduce uh, the program, uh, its basic information, and also uh, its admission uh, policies. Uh, so the, I think for people uh, applying for PhD programs, they are mostly interested, uh, uh, firstly, uh, in the field of uh, of research, uh, what our faculties do, and uh, I think because PhD program is quite a supervisor based. So here I list uh, faculties' research interests. We have a very large group of faculties, uh, basically in two. Uh, institutes. One is in SEPA, and also we share some uh, professorship with uh, other uh, institutes called the Institutes of International Studies, uh, so we have these two institutes together uh, providing uh, PhD advisors. So here, uh, our faculties uh, studies uh, international relations theory, international political economy, IPE, and security, and uh, in the Institute of International uh, Studies, we, we can cover uh, major power politics, Chinese foreign policy, and in our SERPA, we uh, have advisors focusing on IO, uh, international organizations, BRICS studies, global governance, and so on and so forth. So we cover a, a lot of issue areas. So I think students in uh, applying for the program can have their uh, ideal advisor uh, when they come in. Uh, in terms of training, let me briefly introduce the degree requirements. So mo mostly we divide it into two parts. One is the course uh, training and the other part is uh, activities. We have 29 credits of course. Of course, some uh, uh, are standard re required courses, public courses. Uh, so note note the, the core course. In the core course, we, we have uh, the IP, IR theory and the international uh, uh, security. And those core courses will later be uh, the basis of the comprehensive exam, quite standard practice of PhD programs worldwide. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. I'm the program director of the Chinese politics and diplomacy, and my name is Yan Zhang. And today I will give you a very brief introduction of this English tourist program. And actually, the Chinese politics and diplomacy program is one of the most established programs, not only of SERPA, but also through the university. It has been uh, successfully running for more than 18 years since 2005. And first, I want to introduce you the general features of this program. I think it has three features, very important. First one is SERPA is very determined to, is also very committed to uh, enable you to have, make a difference in the future after you finish, successfully finish this program. So we will provide you the most advanced theoretical tour kits to analyze and understand the Chinese politics and diplomacy. And uh, on top of that, oh, sorry. On top of that, we also will provide you very, very much the practical knowledge uh, to prepare you in the future for your career and for your further studies. 
And the second very important feature is this program is really tailored for you. For example, we make the curriculum extremely flexible. So you not only have the choices of the SERPA, but also for the courses of other departments and other schools of Fudan University. A third one is we really uh, want to make you have a global vision in the future. So for example, in the program, you, you not only have the chance to meet the, 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 the visiting professors from public and previous institutions around the globe, but also you have the opportunity, opportunity to participate or have the internship in the very important international organizations or the private institutions based in Shanghai or in China and so on and so forth. So after intro, very briefly talking about the general features of the program, now I want to give you a grasp look about the curriculum features of this program. So in order to complete this program, you have to obtain basically 38 credits and it is consists of two groups. First is a public course, which accounts for 10, uh, 10 credits. The other one is disciplinary uh, specific courses, which accounts for 24 credits. For example, for the, for the discipline specific courses, you have to study some compulsory course, such as the research design and the very basic knowledge about China's politics and diplomacy. And on top of that, you also have the chance to select from a variety of other courses. For example, if you are interested into China-US relations or China-EU relations, you can select this kind of course. And of course, you have you, if you're interest, interested into other sectoral topics like the environmental governance or the climate change governance into a global health governance, you also have the chance to opt for other uh, sectoral courses. So in total, you have 38 credits. And after this very, I say, serious components of this program, we will also provide you with a huge variety of extracurriculum events. For example, from the pictures, you will see that these are the uh, these are the friend pictures we just took last week. It was the Christmas gathering, a New Year gathering event organized by SERPA for the international students. On top of that, you also have the chance to visit the most beautiful cities and tourist sites in China. And for example, the picture was taken in Hangzhou, if I remember correctly. So all this information for you, I just want to convince you, this will be the excellent opportunity for you not only know about Fudan, but also know about Shanghai in China. I'm really looking forward to meeting you next year in China, in Shanghai at Fudan. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Okay, hello everyone. I'm Sun Lei, the IPP program director. IPP means the International Public Policy. This is a two year master program. It started in 2014. So it means it has history of about 10 years. Probably you already know that China, after rapid development, after decades of rapid development, is now the world's second largest economy. So China domestic demanding for public policy expert is increasing is proliferating, and at the meantime, meanwhile, as China is becoming a key player in global governance, so more international opportunities have also been created. And secondly, Shanghai is China's economic capital and a vibrant global city. So if you want to study international public policy based in China, you should never miss the opportunity. You should never miss the opportunity to study international public policy in Fudan University. Okay, the IPP program welcomes students with diverse backgrounds. So no matter you study natural science, social science, engineering, or you have a transdisciplinary background, all of you are welcome to apply the IPP program. IPP will prepare you for leadership and analytical positions in public, in private, and in non-profit non -profit organizations in and out of China. If you want to continue your study for PhD, it is also totally okay. IPP program will set solid foundation for further PhD studies. Okay, next I want to introduce some highlights of the program as other English courses in Fudan University or courses in the IPP program, except the Chinese language courses are taught in English and the most faculty members are Chinese with PhD degree from top university in the world. They are also have some foreign faculty members. And the IPP program is composed of 
half international students and half Chinese students. So it means if you um, if you get in the IPP program, you will have both the international classmates and the Chinese classmates. And all the courses in IPP program help are, design, are designed with an interdisciplinary focus and a methodology focus. And in addition to that, we also provide opportunities for international exchanges, including double degree programs, such as co cooperation with uh, uh, Gothenburg University with uh, Kobe University in Japan. And after two years of study, you will be awarded a master degree in public policy. Yeah, as I have mentioned before, this is a two-year program, but if you want to extend your studies, it's totally okay. In the, IPP, in the IPP program, students can apply to extend the studies with a maximum of five years. And in the IPP program, if you want uh, 33 credits minimum are required for graduation purpose. And in addition to that, you also need to complete and define the graduation thesis. Okay, regarding the training goals for students, and in the IPP program, you will master basic skills of public policy analysis and program evaluation. You will also have solid knowledge of social sciences and research methods. You will have a considerable understanding of certain issues in the international public policy, and you can also learn how to systematically analyze domestic and international public policies. And you will learn how to independently carry out academic research and how to write professional articles and consulting reports. In addition to that, you also will have strong abilities to research and learn to how to write on policy issues and to design, to design the proposed recommendations. Okay, so if you are interested in the IPP program, please stay updated in the of International Student Service of Fudan University. Thank you. And hello, everyone. Uh, I am the program director for the double degree program of uh, uh, Fudan and Xi'an School, um, which aims Europe and Asia in global affairs. I'm Dr. Shui Ying Zhang, and it is my great pleasure to give you a brief introduction of our program. So um, our program, the double degree program, probably is one of the longest um, uh, program um, that has um, partnered with Xi'an School in our university. So this program we established in 2010, and now we have cooperated with Xi'an School for 13 years. And the goal of our program is to uh, cultivate young talents with a solid understanding of Sino-Europe relations, as well as to broaden their vision, both from European perspective, as well as Chinese perspective. So for the admission part, um, taking the year 2024 as an example, um, the deadline for our application will be February the 11th, and all of the application, please get noted, uh, should be sent to um, Xiang Sports Administration System. So uh, for international students, um, you will need to apply through this uh, application system through the Xiang Sports. And after we um, stop receiving all applications, we will then run a joint jury um, um, in March or April 2024. And after that, we will have a result of the admission and we will send um, the, our uh, decisions to those of people who have successfully enrolled and admitted to our program. So for the education part for this two year double degree program, um, you will spend if you have been selected, if you have been admitted, you will uh, um, spend your first year in Xiang School. And uh, as you can see from the screenshot here, um, Xiang School at the first year will provide you with uh, 11 policy streams. Some are taught in English and some are taught in um, French, and you can select um, the most appropriate one. And for the second year um, that you spend in Fudan, uh, we require you to um, um, fulfill two obligations as a graduate student. 
first, you will need to enroll into our courses, um, including global public policy, China's public administration, public policy, etc. And um, you will need to fulfill a credit requirement of minimum 22 credits. And beyond that, you will also need to um, uh, write assesses with um, more than 20,000 words as your um, master assesses. And um, apart from those uh, study parts, I will also show you some spotlights um, of our program uh, in 2023. So as you can see from those photos, we have run uh, several lectures, such as uh, the lecture that hosted by the Dean of uh, in School of International Affairs, from Xiangso, and we also have invited students to have study exchange program to Tokyo as well. And as Professor Yaning Zhang just mentioned, um, this week we have organized this New Year gathering um, together with all international students um, that's um, in our um, uh, department. And apart from those school lines, we also organize study tours as well. As you can see from those photos, uh, they are um, the hub experiences and uh, unforgettable experiences that students have during um, uh, the first semester that they spent in China in Shanghai. So that's all for my brief introduction of our program. And I'm very looking forward to your application. Hello everyone, I'm sorry for the interruption. Um, my name is Li Yin. I'm the program director of the Campus Asia program. Uh, I'm very happy to share with you about information uh, of the great opportunities we offer uh, in, the, in our program. So first of all, what is uh, Campus Asia? Uh, Campus Asia is short for Connective Action of Mobility Program of University Students uh, in Asia. So it, it, so it is a jointly started uh, program by the governments of China, South Korea, uh, and Japan uh, to promote international exchange and cooperation uh, in this region. Uh, in Fudan, we host the program for careers on risk management experts in East Asia. Uh, we have been operating this program since uh, 2012 and uh, uh, we have been evaluated as uh, number one in all the Campus Asia programs uh, in China by the Ministry of Education. Uh, in our program, uh, we have five partnering universities, including Fudan Serpa, uh, Kobe University G uh, Graduate School of International uh, Studies uh, in Japan, and the Korea University's Graduate School, uh, School of International Studies. Uh, and the Chaorongpo University uh, in Thailand and the University of Laos, a uh, faculty of um, economics and business. Uh, since 2012, uh, we have graduated 124 students through the uh, Campus Asia program. Um, through this program, uh, we offer a lot of a variety of uh, pro uh, opportunities for our students. Uh, the, uh, Fudan, Kobe, and the Korea are the, are the three uh, core universities in this partnership. We offer double degree programs for master students. Uh, we also offer co-teaching uh, online programs uh, for students in uh, the three universities. Uh, we issue a, uh, uh, a certificate in risk management. Uh, I will talk about that more. But more excitingly, uh, we also uh, give student opportunities uh, for winter schools and the summer schools uh, throughout uh, East Asia and Southeast Asia. That means you have the opportunities to have short-term visits to, for example, in Thailand, in Laos. Uh, we also offer students internship opportunities in prestigious uh, institutions, uh, including the World Bank, WHO, uh, UNESCO, uh, UNICEF, uh, and other uh, NGOs and NPOs. So you might wonder, how do you uh, participate in this program? Um, so this program is offered to all uh, Fudan students, uh, graduate students. Uh, you, if you have successfully uh, applied in one of the programs, uh, our uh, my colleagues have just mentioned, uh, you will be able to uh, uh, apply for Campus Asia Exchange uh, in your first year in Fudan. So typically, the 
uh, the schedule is like this. In the second semester of your first year at Fudan, uh, you will be able to apply for a double degree opportunity, uh, either with uh, uh, university of, uh, Korea University and the Kobe University. Uh, through uh, Korea University, you can get a double degree in uh, 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 in uh, a master in international relations. Uh, through Kobe University, you will be able to get double degrees uh, uh, for uh, an ec uh, uh, economics degree, a law degree, or an international relations degree. So that will be a great bonus to uh, for your study at Fudan. Uh, if, if you think that that's a too much a commitment, uh, through Campus Asia, you could also um, um, you could also uh, have the uh, opportunity to uh, to take a half a year or a whole year exchange uh, at uh, the five universities. Uh, we uh, in some cases students have tried to visit all our uh, partners, so means you can have, uh, have exchange with in the three universities. Um, for students taking classes in uh, the Campus Asia. Uh, program, uh, we will uh, issue them joint certificate, which will be recognized both by Fudan, Kobe, and the Korea universities. Uh, so there are lots of uh, exciting opportunities uh, uh, offered through Campus Asia, and I really wish you to uh, share with you all. And I am looking forward to seeing you all uh, in the on the campus of uh, Fudan and. Uh, Hopefully, you can join uh, our Campus Asia to uh, open your exciting opportunities in the uh, East Asia and the Southeast Asia region. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, uh, thank you for the t-shirt from the SOPA. And uh, that's all for the introductions of the English Code programs of the SOPA. And we will take like uh, two minutes rest. We'll get uh, prepared. Uh, we'll get ready for the next session. One second. Hi, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of you from all over the world. I'm Alice Da, and I will make um today. I will do the introduction for the School of Economics mostly on the English taught master program, and later my colleague will introduce about the undergraduate program. So, as you may know, School of Economics in Fudan University is like the, the best known institution of economic education and research in Chinese mainland. In 1922, our first department of economics was founded. So just last year, we celebrated the 100th anniversary of our departments. So um, the School of Economics has a really good ranking in interna uh, internationally. Our both economics and finance major have ranked uh, a 48 in the QS subject ranking 2023. And we have, Altogether, several departments in different majors, such as economics, world economy, finance, and etc. We also have a lot of research centers that have different focus on different aspects of economics. And for our program, we have a lot of degree programs, and altogether, we have over 200 faculty and staff. And Lots of our alumni work in banks and financial institutions, international organizations, government offices, and 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 uh, such related fields. Especially about our international cooperation, we are really internationalized schools. Uh, that means we have a lot of exchange programs uh, for semester or for a year. And we have one English taught undergraduate program of economics, which will later be introduced by my colleague. And next, I will focus on the two English taught master programs of our school. So our English taught master program are on international business and finance. So for the students of these two majors, there are three major parts of their academic, academic study. First is about the courses. 
which I uh, will all, all introduce later, courses and thesis and social practice. So let me introduce it to you one by one. First, these are some um, selections of our professors taught in our program. And you can see uh, most of them have graduated from really distinguished and renowned universities from all over the world. And many of them are graduated from, from distinguished universities abroad. And we also listed the course name they teach in our program. You can also go to our website for the for more faculty information. Here, here we show the curriculum and study plan of our students. So we have three kinds of courses offered to our students. There are basic courses which are compulsory and some professional compulsory courses for, uh, for international business and finance students. And also we have a lot of elective courses that can that you can choose freely. And many of them have particular in, uh, focus on China, such as China's tax taxation system or China's financial system and something related to China to make you have more in, uh, insight into Chinese economy. And here I also listed the credit requirement for the two majors. And about the thesis, because this is, this is an English taught program, so the thesis must be written and defended in English and around 15,000 words. And the, the whole process of writing and finishing your thesis could last uh, about one year. So you will do the thesis proposal on the second semester and you will have a supervisor and the defense committee to guide you through your entire thesis writing process. And uh, you will need to finish the thesis defense before graduation. Next, we also have social practice requirements for our students. It means we, we uh, want you to have no less than two months part-time job or as teaching assistant or RA in our school. And you will need to submit an evaluation form of your internship and an internship report. And here you can see the school and the faculty also uh, try to help our students to have more interactions with different companies. These are the companies that we have visited and to take our uh, students to visit and to, to offer some can offer internship positions for them. So you can see we go to like Boss, Starbucks, Tesla, both really renowned enterprises, both at home and abroad and international uh, companies. And we also believe that it is uh, our need to offer some extracurriculum activities for our students. So you see, we have a lot of really wonderful uh, act activities for our students, like lunch party every month, and we'll have different visits and forum for academic, and also some cultural experience. You can see this is our students to have uh, tried the Chinese costume and Chinese tradition uh, calligraphy this and last semester and also outing to some really uh, good uh, place of interest in China. Uh, let's talk more about our SOE and also about Fudan. So Fudan offers really good environment for people not to study, but also to enjoy your best ages here. So you can see we have a really good environment with a lot of flowers and also really good spa facilities. And uh, also the cats, we have a lot of cats in the campus and a lot of student activities. Right here, I chose a picture of our mid autumn festival uh, music party on the, on the lawn of our, of our campus. And also we are a really big university. So we have a lot of canteens that provide different flavors of Chinese cuisine. And I believe you love it. 
more about Shanghai because you see we are a school of ec economics and Shanghai is the financial hub of China and also a really international city. And so you can experience the modern uh, modernness of uh, Shanghai in China and also some traditional culture in Shanghai. And it is also a really good place to live. So uh, there's a lot you can explore. Moreover, there's a, a lot of like museums and uh, art gallery and uh, um, like music hall for you to enjoy your life and to, um, to experience the Chinese culture as well as uh, international culture. And also because we are, our school has a lot of exchange opportunities. So here, um, some of our students will choose to like to do the exchange program during their semester or on summer and winter. So this is one of our students who have exchanged to a Korean university. So if you have joined a school of economics in Sudan, you do not you do not only experience the Chinese culture, you can also have the opportunity to explore more international uh, culture like other Asian countries and also we have global partners. All right, and here, this is the feedback from our previous students. And I can see that they all really have a fruitful stay in our program. And for the application, it, uh, you just need to apply online at a as a I student at the Sudan and for the uh, and you are eligible to apply for our program as long as you have complete a uh, bachelor or higher degree program. And we would prefer students that has economics or finance or business related fields and uh, solid knowledge in mathematics. And uh, you need to be a non-Chinese national and has a really good English language proficiency. And we also uh, uh, we also uh, admit like uh, scholarship students. So for more details, you can just pay attention to the ISO website as well as SOE website. So this is our email and our website. You are free to call or write an email to us if you have any question. And next, I would like to play a short video to show you about um, our program. Hello everyone, my name is Annika. I'm from the EMA program at the School of Economics uh, at Fudan University. Uh, I'm German and I'm here for the double degree with Groningen University. Uh, during my time at Fudan and especially at the School of Economics, I was really intrigued by the program itself, uh, the students that joined uh, from all over the world, but also the excellent professors that gave me, I'd say another view on, on economics. Um, during the visits that we did uh, to companies like uh, Tesla or ByteDance, which is the mother company of TikTok, uh, we really experienced how it is to be a Chinese company in an international surrounding, and that's something that I really appreciate at uh, SOE. I'm at the end of a very interesting year here at Fudan. I have had the opportunity to, to use Fudan really as a base to understand China better and the Chinese economy better, both in a very book learning sense, but also in experience-based learning sense. I think, uh, I don't know, the environment at Fudan is extremely inspiring as well, because not only they have a lot of lectures and invited scholars, but also the professors have helped me a lot to improve my professional and also my academic skills throughout research. So yeah, I, I really hope like to, to be staying here for longer and maybe to use the skills I learned to, to, to work for a, a few years in China before going back to my country. So that's basically my introduction of our English Choice Master Program. And next, my colleague will make an introduction about our undergraduate program.
Uh, hi, uh, thank you for coming. Um, I'd like to share with you uh, some information about our undergraduate program in economics. So you know the ranking of Dan University uh, is one of the best universities in China's mainland. And uh, um, here you also see the peers ranking of Dan University in terms of economics. So Sifudan University School of Economics is one of um, the top institutions of economics education and research in China's mainland. Um, this is the mission of the UIP program. And then on the right, you see uh, this picture. Uh, it shows some students from first cohort uh, who graduated in June this year. So now I'd like to give you more information about this program from several perspectives, faculty courses, uh, highlights, and activities. So here you see uh, some faculty members of this program, uh, and uh, um, I can say most of our faculty members uh, got their PhD degree in economics from American or British universities. Um, and now uh, they are doing research in China. So it's a perfect combination of Western economics education and research on Chinese issues. Then about the courses, um, usually undergraduate students in Chinese universities, they take courses of two or three credits. That means um, like uh, for a three credit course, the professor teaches for three periods every week um, and the professor will do most of the talking. Uh, but the UIP courses, uh, most of these courses are four or five credits which gives the professor and the students more time to interact with each other, to uh, you know, uh, discuss and uh, make presentations uh, in class. So for most of our UIP courses, the students and the professors meet twice a week. Uh, and there are also tutorial sessions. Then our students uh, need to do the graduate thesis which is uh, uh, six credits. The students uh, will write the thesis in English. The international students of the UIP program uh, will complete 144 credits over a period of four years. Uh, there are uh, general education courses and then compulsory economic courses uh, optional economics courses. For the general education courses, you can uh, take courses uh, about philosophy, sociology, um, uh, science and technology. Now, these are called the liberal art education courses uh, at Fudan University. And they, you also study the Chinese language, um, the uh, general survey about China to get to know more about this country. So here you see a list of our classes. Uh, like my colleague mentioned earlier that we have uh, uh, quite a few visiting programs, instruction programs for our students. So um, the UIP students can choose to spend one semester or even one year abroad, as is in another country. Uh, so suppose you are from Europe, you can choose to spend one semester in the United States or in another Asian country like Singapore or um, South Korea or Japan. And then at the end of the four year undergraduate program, uh, you will have several options. If you want to pursue further education and become a PhD student, I think the UIP program uh, will provide you with uh, rigorous education on mathematics and economics theory. And uh, during the four years, uh, you'll be able to do your research projects uh, with the supervision of uh, the faculty members. Um, so you will interact a lot with the professors. Actually, starting year two, you will have your supervisor who can give you academic advice um, about your research interests. And also uh, the supervisor will help you with the thesis writing. 
And if you aim to get a job in the industry, um, we uh, we organize company visits. We help you uh, find the intern positions. And every semester, we invite practitioners from the industry to give talks to our students. By the activities, uh, first, there are hundreds of clubs, associations at the University. Uh, sure, you can find them that interest you. And then when the students come, the new students come, there's the welcome party. Uh, during the semesters, we organize outings to cities close to Shanghai, and we celebrate uh, these you know, festivals. Um, and then uh, the lectures given by faculty members or uh, from our school and then faculty members from other schools or from other universities. And we organize lunch parties regularly. Um, the last picture is about the graduation party um, in June this year. That's the first cohort they graduated in June and we uh, booked a ballroom at Crown Plaza to celebrate. Here you see the feedback from the students. Um, Jilin, uh, she's from Thailand. Uh, she has not graduated yet. Currently, she's doing her uh, exchange semester in the Netherlands. Um, and then Anton, uh, he graduated in June this year. He uh, chose to uh, pursue further education at Columbia University. So he's working on the master program now. Uh, for information about online application, uh, you can visit our UIP website or you can visit the website of International Students Office of Dan University for more information. Uh, basically, you will uh, submit the documents online at istudent.dan.edu.cn. You pay the application fee and then you wait for our response. So you can find more information about this program and about uh, the application process uh, on our website or the website of International Schools Arts. Here's our contact information. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, email us or call us. Uh, I also have a short video to show you. All our lecturers are graduated from very uh, prestigious universities and they are excellent research in uh, their fields. We are take best part of the Western textbooks and the best part of the Chinese practices. Lots of uh, economic issues are coming from our uh, our daily uh, practice, our our observation of the Chinese uh, uh, e events. Our program includes numerous company visits to prominent organizations in Shanghai. We host lectures by industry experts with speakers like the vice president of Walt Disney Company Asia Pacific and the representative from the International Joint Conference of Artificial Intelligence. We offer a range of outbound exchange opportunities. Although the programs establish partnership with renowned institutions worldwide, uh, including prestigious universities like MIT, the University of Pennsylvania, UC Berkeley, UCLA, the University of Munich, HEC Paris, and so on. Hi everyone, welcome back. And uh, the next department is uh, uh, School, of, uh, School of Global Public Policy. And they have four programs, one doctor program and three master programs, including two dual degree programs. Okay, let's work out. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Jingyuan Shi uh, from the Institute for Global Public Policy at Fudan University. Uh, today I'm very happy to be the first one to introduce our master program in global public policy. And uh, 
here is my um, here is my outline for today's talk. So uh, I'll briefly introduce our institute as well as the master program, and uh, I'll provide you some highlights of our program. And I will also talk about the application procedure for for you to uh, follow. So uh, the first is about our institute. So uh, our institute is a very new institute for, uh, at the university. So it was launched in May 2019. So we have a very broad global partnership. So the starting point of our institute is in partnership with the LSC Fudan Research Center for Global Public Policy. And uh, our aim of the institute is to advance research on global public policy. So as you will know that we, uh, we already established a series of graduate degree program in multi-policy and governance area. For example, the political economy, uh, environment governance, social policy, as well as public health. So uh, we, I will start talking about one master program and uh, the follow uh, up some uh, professors will discuss about some other program, including the PhD program and the two double degree program. So uh, all of our program admit both Chinese and international students and uh, the international students occupy the higher proposition of our students. So we hope we can educate you or the funeral generation of researchers and practitioners of the global public policy and governance for both China and the world. So here you can see we have a very broad global partnership of the, our institute. We work together with the world's top university and the organizations, including Springle Nature, Penn Wharton China Center, the South Africa Institute for International Affairs, Association of Arab Universities, and Joe Hawkins uh, Universities, uh, etc. So you can see here, I provide you a global partnership map on the screen. So it's covered all the different continents uh, in, uh, in words. And uh, you know that the, in, in response uh, to the um, preceded global challenges, uh, we hope we, our institute can provide you a very broad platform for different uh, academic exchange as well as the communication between different scholars and the students. So we provide um, plenty of academic resources like the Fudan Arts Lecture Series, Young Scholar Workshop, Perspective Video Series, and uh, some other visual series and the books and the journal. So uh, I briefly talked about our institute. The next step is talking about the program we would like to deliver. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you're looking at the changing world around us, we may find there are huge and diverse challenges facing us. For example, the inequality of the education, uh, the global pandemic, the climate change, as well as many other uh, global policy challenges. So in order to uh, compose of the coordinate and uh, the design human actions, we hope uh, we establish this new master in global public policy program to equip the students with the global vision in deep knowledge and professional skills in addressing the real world public challenges. We hope that we can prepare the students with the ability to analysis the policy and uh, addressing the student to become the essential researchers policy analysis and the leaders in global and public private sectors and international organizations. So the master program in global public policy delivered by IGPP is a two year full time and English taught program. Uh, we hope to train the students on theoretic and applicated dimension of global policy analysis, implementation and evaluation. So for students who fulfill the graduation and the degree requirement will be awarded Master of Management Science in Public Policy from Fudan University. And we welcome both the Chinese and the international students to compose the uh, academic group. So uh, I will briefly talk about the highlights of our course. So the course design of MGPP integrates knowledge of different disciplines for example, we include class for management, economics, political science, and law. 
And also the highlights of this program is we proposed and uh, educated the student with advanced quantitative method. So we can see here are the four uh, core course of our uh, program, including the global policy, which help to explore the cutting edge issues in global governance, the practitioner, uh, a practical research method in public policy, which equip, uh, equip the students with multiple advanced research methods, institutional and public policy, which help to build a strong theoretic foundations for empirical study, and finally, the public economics, which help the students to strengthen their capacity in quantitative data analysis. So in the second year of your uh, program uh, uh, journey, you can have the elective modules, mm -hmm. uh, including that you may choose your own research interest. We provide you five choice in this program. The first one is political economy and also the mm -hmm. health and social policy, China studies, international development and public governance. All of the elective modules provide two to three elective class for you to choose. So finally, we will, uh, I will sharing some of the highlights of this program. So you can see uh, our teaching faculty is composed of uh, multinational teams. Uh, all of the teams, including some highly accomplished scholars from top international universities and the senior officials from international organizations. For example, our partner school, uh, London School of Economics and Political Science, uh, University of California, Santa Barbara, uh, Amherst University, Rotterdam, and the World Bank, etc. As I mentioned, uh, our institute provides you a, a extensive platform for academic exchange. So MGPP provides the students with ample uh, opportunities to join the academic teams led by the world-class scholars in public policy and publish high-quality research papers. So here are some information for you to uh, check. So uh, our tuition is uh, 100,000 RMB per year. And uh, you can also try to apply the scholarship uh, offered via Fudan University, for example. The opportunity includes both the Chinese government university and the Shanghai government scholarship. Uh, Fudan University offers limited on-campus accommodations for international students. And uh, we can also provide you some special channels for scholarship uh, offered by other dispatching authorities. So this year we were trying to recruit around 15 international students and you can find more details for the applications on the, um, the Fudan International School uh, International Student Office or website. So I welcome you to IGPP at Fudan University and uh, I welcome you to Shanghai, China. Thank you. Okay, so hello everyone, and I'm the program director of GP program from IGPP, and today I will uh, give you a very brief introduction about our institute's uh, double degree program that with LSC that is in global political economy, and so this double degree program is offered by the university and LSE. The program will provide our students with a multidisciplinary analysis of key political and economic processes and problems in Europe and in China, considering them within a global context. So uh, after study, you may have a better understanding of the current, like these key crises and the big events around the world. <laughs> and in this two year program, our students will study at LSE in the first year to study the global political economy of Europe. And in the second year, students will focus more on issues of political economy in the Chinese context and beyond. So our, uh, this year, our recruit targets is around 15 international students. And it, it is important that if you want to apply for our program, then you can go through um, on both websites to look into the details, but you should apply first from the LSE selection portal. And this is a brief overview of our requirements. Uh, besides the requirements on credit and on the GPA, and in Fudan University, in the second year study, you have to write an academic thesis and then pass the final defense, then you can obtain your degree. And the 
CCS should be related to the pol political economy and the public policy issues. And if, for our courses, we provide that Chinese specific or Chinese oriented public policy and uh, political economy courses. And as well as we will provide you uh, trainings on practical research methods and on like the uh, policy and the program evaluation. And these are some elective elective courses that you can choose. Uh, most of them are the courses from other programs. And this is our institute's instructors and the CISA supervisors. And you can see our uh, supervisor list consists of both international and domestic professors with various academic backgrounds that is related to political economy. So for our previous cohort, you can see the global distribution of our applicants. Um, until now, most of our students, well, most of our international students, they come from the global north. And these are the uh, rich study and life at both LSE and IGPP. Uh, both are like uh, their self-organized events or the events organized by our institutes. Okay, so if you have any question, you can just send emails to us and uh, thank you very much. Hello everyone, thanks for joining us. Uh, I am the program director of LSE Putin Double Master's degree program in global social policy. So I will uh, today I will provide a very brief introduction to the program, including the program overview courses. Uh, requirements and application. So I hope you will be interested in this program and uh, will be training for it. So on this slide, it, sh uh, it shows a uh, RQ code of our IGPP and also the uh, the program webpage. So if you are interested in our program, then you can get more details uh, from uh, the webpage. So first, let me talk a little bit about the reasons and the background regarding why we launch uh, this program. So meeting human needs and increasing will be in our universal policy goals, but these are addressed differently around the world with different roles for key stakeholders, such as uh, governments, NGOs, families, and market. So with the development of globalization increasing uh, increasingly fierce international competition and growing social problems. Uh, global and multiple disciplinary perspectives are essential to identify and address such uh, social problems. So under this background, um, this double master degree program is launched by Fudan University and the LSE. So this program will provide of quality international and uh, multidisciplinary research and teaching on social and public policy challenges uh, facing countries across the world. So this program aims to discover and uh, cultivate future leaders in the field of global uh, social policy. In this program, students will study at LSE in the first year of the program to master the key ideas and the series of global social and public policy. In the second year, students will focus more on issues of social problems and social policy in the context of China and other developing countries and Fudan. So students who meet the requirement of LSE and Fudan will be awarded uh, by two uh, degree. So this slide shows some uh, basic information about the application uh, of international students. So for international students, so uh, they should submit their application to LSE online application system. And this system actually has been open since October uh, this year. And we welcome applications for all qualified uh, prospective students. And we hope to recruit uh, students with very uh, br brilliant academic merit, potential, and motivations, regardless of uh, their background. So uh, our program provides students with theoretical and practical thing, training, and the courses in uh, this program are very intensive, and students must uh, complete like 40, uh, 34 credits in total during the second year of the program. 
And on this slide, it shows the uh, the composition of the program program courses. And uh, you can see uh, for the uh, category of core courses, uh, students will learn uh, urban society and public policy, Chinese society and social policy, and so on. On this slide, we show some basic information of our DC supervisor and uh, instructors. So all of those uh, professors uh, have very multidisciplinary background and uh, ample teaching experience. So all of them are uh, experts in social policy and public policy and related uh, disciplines. So in the first year of the program study, HPP still could provide students with diverse support and help like the job opportunities as a research assistant, lectures and uh, uh, lectures and seminars uh, and so forth. And uh, uh, speaking of the background of the applicants, we attracted international uh, students um, from like more than 80 uh, university in more than 30 countries and regions. So our applicants are from top tier international university, uh, as you can see from this table. So besides the course, you will obtain very useful extracurricular experience and resources from uh, IGTP. So this is what I am going to talk. For any question, uh, free feel to approach me. Thank you. Uh, the next program is DGPP. Hello everyone, I'm the program director of our PhD program of IGPP. Uh, first, let me share some information about the program. Uh, our English instructor PhD in global public policy is a four-year full-time program that enrolls both international and Chinese students. Students will be awarded the PhD degree of management science in public policy from Fudan University upon, upon completing all the graduation requirements. And our program integrates high quality education and research resources of Fudan and its global partners in multiple disciplines. And we aim to change future generations of scholars and analysts of global, national, regional, and global public policy and governance. The doctor supervisors include uh, outstanding scholars of public administration, and also young teachers will be appointed as the deputy supervisors to strengthen students' guidance of doctoral uh, of our doctoral students. And we also uh, equip class tutors, counselors, program directors, program coordinators to set to participate in project management. And as for the schooling and tuition, our program enrolled full-time doctoral students with the duration of four years, and excellent students can graduate in three years. The maximum duration of the study is no more than eight years. Our students are required to take 25 to 28 credits, pass all courses, and have a GPA of 2.5 or above in all courses. And you are also required to write the doctoral thesis and pass the defense, uh, publish research papers, etc. Uh, international students can apply for the Chinese government scholarships to cover your tuition. For our curriculums, we provide the core courses of 12 credits include public policy analysis, advanced uh, quantum methods, global political economy, and public management theories. And for the um, elective courses, we have different categories, including the research methodology, uh, our Chinese policy and governance, uh, political economy, social policy, and also uh, environmental policy. And uh, as for our pro previous programs, we enrolled a diversity of students from well-known universities across the country, and the vast majority of international students come from Europe, followed by North America and Asia. Uh, our students all have excellent academic performance, and we have very rare interests. For the application period, please note that the page one begins from the December 5th 
2023 to January 31st, 2024. And the scholarship application shall be submitted by January 31st, 2024. And as for the PACE 2 application, uh, it's from the February to May. And admission decision is usually delivered to the applicant one to two months after the submission of all the application materials. And you shall uh, apply to your visa by August 2024. Here lists our application materials. And for the tuition uh, for international students, it's uh, 80,000 uh, RMB per year for the 2024 intake. Uh, and there are also government scholarships covering both tuition and living stipends, including the Chinese government scholarship, the Shanghai government scholarship, and the Confucius China Studies programs. Uh, they are all merit-based and offered on the basis of competition. And for the uh, accommodation and on-campus international student dormitory is available. So you can check the relevant website for further information. So welcome to apply for the 2024 PhD study at IGPP. And next, let's welcome our uh, student Mia from the MGPP program to share his study experience at Budapest. Hello everyone. So I am Mia. I'm a student at the um, IGPP program and I come from Norway. So uh, if you guys want to come to a city that is quite dynamic and exciting, I do really recommend coming to Shanghai. And you don't have to worry about, you know, coming from far away over here. I have the impression that, you know, Budan helped me out a lot and there was no issue for me getting settled. And I just really recommend for everyone to apply. <laughs> And yeah, it's quite exciting. So. <laughs> Hope to see you here. Thank you, Mia. And next one, we will introduce our adjunct professor, Daniel Gutman. He is one of our degree programs course instructors, and he will share his experience at IDPP. Hi, Pro Gutman. Could you unmute your microphone? Hi, Professor Gutman. Yeah, Gutmann, can you see? Oh. Um, yeah I'm, I'm trying to show the picture, but I don't think anybody will miss anything by not seeing me. Uh, first of all, thank you. As uh, some of you know, in the U.S. for many years and continuing, I've been a lawyer and a government official, still practice law. And the invitation to talk to you gives me uh, the time to reflect. And here are briefly a half a dozen reasons why I really am very honored and excited about being part of this program. First, uh, the IGP program is really an example of a global village. The physical space for IGPP, a floor and the Twin Towers at Fudan is small, but the student body is from all over the world. And moreover, just by being in this small space, you will meet uh, scholars and practitioners from all over the world. In the two months I was uh, just at Fudan, uh, the Shanghai Forum brought people from all over the world. Uh, Dean Jing has a, 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 a reached an agreement with the Association of Arab Universities, Arab University people, uh, London School of Economics. So there was a day with the Thailand National Development Institute and this is all in a small space. It's a small college within a great university. So IGPP students are all part of this. Second, in the really difficult dark times of 2023, uh, IGPP is a global bridge. When I first came to China to teach many years ago, a colleague said, as an American, you will be a bridge between the US and China. At IGPP, I. Uh, talk with the, the dean and uh, uh, Chang Yuan, uh, Jing Yuan and others and say, IGPP is the bridge. I meet students and scholars and practitioners from all over the world that uh, I don't see in Washington, D.C. in the midst of uh, uh, you know one of the great global cities. So this is an opportunity to meet even especially people from your own countries you might not meet 
you know, officials of the EU or uh, uh, you know other locale that you might not meet in your own country. Uh, third, it's interdisciplinary that the uh, social sciences at least are broadly represented. Uh, there are many, it's a small faculty perhaps, but colleagues, uh, you heard from Qian Hao Chi earlier. Uh, I'm a climate, I work on climate change. He has uh, disciplinary perspectives that I couldn't begin to understand and that I learn from uh, continually. Uh, fourth, it is, as you've heard, a small village, but in a global university. Uh, you go downstairs to the uh, first floor of the Twin Towers, you see the banners on campus, and every day there are speakers, uh, programs from all over the world. I'm a lawyer, Yale Law School graduate in the U.S., and go downstairs and I see, wow, this Harvard Law School professor I didn't know but had heard of is going to be a part of a uh, workshop in the Guanghua building. So it's really you could stay on campus and be part of a global uh, village. Uh, fourth, fifth, as has been mentioned, Shanghai is uh, maybe some say it's not uh, the real China, but it's extremely comfortable and friendly for uh, anybody from all over the world. Uh, line 10 of the subway, the subway system, very quick, takes you anywhere. You can go in 15 or 20 minutes to the uh, famed downtown, the Bund area, and then a few more stops and you're at Shanghai Jiao Tung, the uh, uh, I guess, rival engineering science uh, school, and then a couple more stops, and you are at the Shanghai Railroad Ray Station, and the famed rail, uh, fast Gautier, fast trains, can take you in remarkably quick and efficient times to most other places in China, whether it's Beijing in the north or uh, Guangzhou in the south or in the west. And so finally, uh, for me as a teacher, I hope many of you will consider and apply because as a teacher, um, this is really an opportunity for me to learn and put together thoughts that I wouldn't be able to do teaching in the U.S. with um, the kinds of experiences and backgrounds that you all come from and share. So hope I haven't exceeded my time and you can see my pictures on the picture on the web. Um, thank you. Thank you. All right. Hello, everyone. And uh... Thank you for being here today. And thanks uh, International Office for arranging this online meeting. Uh, for the next half an hour, I will introduce you about the IMB program and the things international applicants cares during the application process. We probably would find out that starting MBA in China is much more useful and easier than you noticed. There is a large proportion of applicants considering starting MBA in China because they used to study or work in China, or work with Chinese associates. The MBA degree will benefit their business or future career related to China. Also, there are applicants who are ethnic Chinese or have families and relatives in China who will have less cultural and language barrier. And they probably already familiar with domestic business approaches. Starting MBA in China would help those applicants figure out the business practice on Chinese market. And you're lucky benefit from the MBA study the most in a city like Shanghai, which is the engine of China's economy. And you can see how important China is to China uh, by the consequence of China, Shanghai with its lockdown last year due to the COVID-19. Shanghai plays a great role as the most influential economy, financial, cultural, and technological center in China. Uh, living and starting in Shanghai not only help you understand the way how Chinese most open-minded city approaches to business and international trade, but also help you comprehend how modern Chinese think and the philosophy behind it. And that is what the MBA would offer you during the two years' story. And Fudan was founded in 1905. It is one of the oldest and most prestigious university in China. We have 35 schools, including law school, including medical school. For local students, you have to be the best of the best to get into them. Uh, for example, there are 13, 13 million G12 students taking the 2023 National College entrance exam last year. And for that only recruit about 3,500 
national college uh, undergraduates, which means you have to rank about top 100 in your province, mm -hmm. province or in your state. Uh, so it must be really good uh, if you are local Chinese, Chinese to get into that. And our management school, uh, one of management school's history can go back to 1917 when it is established as business discipline. Uh, we are one of the nine first batch of Chinese university accredited by Chinese Education Bureau to set up MBA program in 1919s. And we are also accredited by SACSB and ACOS, so we are double accredited business school. And our management school history, uh, well, uh, you can see that uh, we, you can see the ranking, we rank top 15 in Financial Times global MBA ranking during the past few years. And uh, number one in Asia for career service ranking. Here is our Fudan MIT International Full Time MBA program. Uh, it's a two year program taught in English and we also have a part-time MBA program, which is taught in Chinese. The full-time program is cooperated with MIT Sloan. Uh, the whole curriculum is in accordance with MIT. There are a few courses directly taught by MIT professors. We have some actual learning courses and international exchanges with MIT in the program. Faculties of IMB program possess both rich academic background and the intensive teaching experience in business education. Here you can see that's our professors and uh, more professors from MIT. Uh, the full-time program have two specialized tracks involving different modules. One is the investment and entrepreneurship track. Uh, if you are aiming to be a company partner, running startup, startup business, or taking over a family business. Uh, the other one is business authentic and management track for professional management uh, or business consultants. Here you can see all the compulsory courses are in the first year starting. And uh, we have future development module contain popular courses like ESG, which is where developed in Europe. Uh, this concept and the relative cost are relative fresh to China. It's been quite popular among large enterprises and it received more and more recognition in Chinese market lately. lately. And the market has an appetite for talent or intellectuals who own expertise in a ESG. HR will offer a decent salary for ESG position lately. And we also set uh, actual learning courses uh, in the integral practice module. We call it the iLab Consulting Project. Uh, it allows our students group up as consultant team on the leader of our professors to solve practical problems for real companies. Every year, the Dan MBA will recruit about a dozen out of 30 to 40 companies in Shanghai or surrounding area. Each group will spend one semester shattering the company, working with the staff, and complete their targets. We would invite uh, enterprises, senior manager, and experts to give our students tutorial, tutorial uh, lecture, and allowing our students to put what they learn into practice. Also, students need to cooperate with each other, sometimes leading the team or certain tasks. It's quite challenging to deliver an outcome that satisfy all stakeholders in this course. And you can see those are our partner companies during the last few years. Since 2005, uh, the MBA, ILAP complete, uh, complete more than 304 projects with over 252 domestic and international partner companies. Over a thousand students participated in the RLAB project. We have a large amount of elective courses based on the specialized track for the secondary secondary year. And the program also provides abundant overseas study opportunities. We have long-term exchanges uh, like the secondary uh, dual degree program. 
we there is three partner school for the second degree program. We have MIT, we have Yale, we have York, uh, York University, uh, Shirley Business School. If you succeeded, got their offer through the selection and application, uh, you will spend one year go to North America to study. And uh, in the end, you will get two degrees. One is for that MBA degree. The other one is from their school. It's a highly competitive program and it's also a exclusive program. Uh, they would only recruit students from uh, top business school like us all over the world. And we also have midterm exchanges, uh, means uh, like exchange students, allowing you exchange for one semester as exchange students to our partner schools. As one member of the Organization of Partnership in International Management, uh, Food and Management School have launched one of the biggest international student exchange program in China and has established student uh, relations about 19 renowned international business schools. International exchange program give Fudan MBA students the opportunity to study and live in real international environment for one semester during their MBA study. Students will become immersed in life and uh, culture of another country while completing an appropriate program of study at one school partner uh, university uh, over 15 countries. As a member of Global Network for Advanced Management, uh, for that MBA, students can apply for one week Global Network Week courses uh, provided by 72 GNAM member school to explore the most updated business around the leading business school of the world. So if you don't have too much time, have don't have spare time for a long time, uh, travel around uh, and uh, go another country to have exchange studies. One week study trip uh, might be a good one for you to experience business methods in other environments. And here you can see uh, is our class profile for the international program. We usually recruit about 100 students every year and uh, their average age is around 30 and they usually have six year working experience, uh, including their management working experience. And uh, last year we have at least 10% students. Well, they provide a GMAT score over 700. About 20% uh, of our IBS students have math degree and over one third students have working experience over 10 years. Here are some employer of our IMBA graduates. Many of, and many of them are MNCs and uh, local state-owned enterprises. The study of MBA is not just pursued for academic, but also for about networking, resourcing, sharing. So we recruit students for all kinds of industries, not just uh, fund certain industry, uh, because we believe that your classmates who are sitting next to you, uh, who is also elite in his industry, uh, the person sitting next to you might be your future business partner. This mutual interaction would bring chemical, chemistry to this class. So we have our certain industry club organized by our alumni and inviting current students and alumni in the same industry for networking. For example, we have like a medical health club, asset management club, car industry club, or blockchain club, etc., which is a valuable resource for your future career in China or in China. And our CDO office and uh, alumni center staff would organize training seminar, uh, job fair, employer meeting every week, have you immer immersing into our network. Uh, that's why we can rank number one in Asia for career service in financial times. And our students can have number one salary increase in this ranking. As you can see, our careers, uh, students' career position distribution in this chat, uh, majority are occupied uh, at management level and specialist. 
Uh, also, we do not join the list of CSC or uh, SGS scholarship uh, list. Uh, instead, uh, our MBA program will provide scholarship based on applicants' academic and professional achievements, personal accomplish, uh, interview performance, and potential contributions. Academic candidates will be ultimately considered for scholarship, so there is no need for a separate application. Uh, for scholarship. We have GMAT scholarship with no quota limits. Uh, if you provide GMAT score over 750, we will, will provide you up to 100% scholarship to cover all your tuition fee. Considering our tuition fee is uh, 317,000 uh, RMB, uh, about by 15,000 US dollar. It's quite a large amount of money. So it's quite generous uh, scholarship. We also set uh, other interest scholarships like the Young Talent Scholarship or Entrepreneurship Scholarship. Students who are selected for more than one scholarship, well, they will uh, need to choose one uh, award with the highest amount. So you can only get one scholarship uh, if you uh, meet multiple scholarships, but you will get highest value, highest amount. And for uh, application requirements, applicants must have at least three years, uh, sorry for the title here, must have three years full-time working experience after your bachelor degree. If you have a master's degree or PhD degree, you can have at least two years working experience. And uh, you may submit your application materials via our application system and uh, go through the background evaluation and interview process. Then provide a GMAT score before the last round deadline. You may submit your application first, then uh, su supplement your GMAT score, it's okay. And for the uh, uh, next year, we'll probably move to our new campus of management school, which is uh, almost finished here. And uh, we probably, if you are going to start the MBA, we'll probably meet you there. Here is so, uh, and also provide a uh, summer language seasons for uh, international students. And we we'll also provide short-term visa for you. So you can come to China earlier and uh, adapt to local life and see what's going around. It will definitely help you, well, get into the class and knowing what locals are doing. And uh, here is our application po uh, portal website and you may find more information with those links. And uh, if you have any questions, you can contact us uh, with this email and or contact international, international office here. And here is a QR code. If you have a WeChat, you can scan uh, scan the QR code here and join our uh, group chat. If you have any questions, you're welcome to contact us anytime. So oh, anyway, uh, welcome you. If you are interested in, uh, for the NBA, uh, the door is always open for you. And uh, thank you for your time. Uh, Merry Christmas. Okay, uh, before, because we have some time left, so. Uh, we all, uh, if anyone has questions, you can maybe open your microphone and ask. We like, we'll have like uh, almost 10 minutes for the QA session. And you can just uh, open your microphone or type the word in the chat. Yeah, or just raise your hand. Yeah. Hi. Um. Uh, thank you for giving us information. And I just want to ask one question about yes. uh, PhD program of mm -hmm. management school. Uh, well, uh, our MBA program is a math uh, degree program, so it's not PhD. Yeah. Uh, is there any chance to uh, know more about PhD program in Fudan University? Well, uh, if you have uh, any questions, or maybe you can uh, contact international office. 
uh, for PhD degree. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, any more questions? Hi. Hello. Oh, uh, actually, I cannot hear you. Um, <clears throat> I guess you can hear me. I have a question about a master degree program. I did my bachelor's in related to hospitality and tourism management. So I'm planning to do my master's in the management industry, management uh, major in management. So mm -hmm. I have a couple of questions. Uh, I have my bachelor's in um, the degree said, uh, awarded by a uh, UK university. So since mm -hmm. I did my uh, bachelor's in English medium, uh, can I get a waiver for IELTS or still I need to um, uh, do the IELTS test? Well, uh, we for our full time program, uh, we uh, we receive a GMAT score or equivalent GRE score. We don't uh, have a compulsory requirement for the English like uh, English requirement like IELTS or other uh, other English requirements. So only GMAT or GIE. And uh, uh, we don't have an inner test for this process. Okay. So, uh, yeah. uh, 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 can we have an email address uh, so we can send uh, all the questions to that one so we can have uh, for the more details. So can we have uh, an, a, an email address from uh, the management department? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for here is uh, our email address. Can you see this? If you have any questions, you can send an email to this email address. IB at student dot edu dot cn. Good evening, uh, everyone, and uh, it's uh, the turn of a uh, law school. And uh, uh, in my in, in my part, I will introduce you about uh, uh, the Fudan Law School and uh, uh, one of our uh, most important programs, uh, the LM program in Chinese business law. And uh, so first, let's go to the uh, introductions to Fudan Law School. Uh, actually, Fudan Law School can be traced back to 1914. And at that time, as you might have known that uh, Fudan University was established in 1905. And uh, uh, law as a kind of a subject or dis one of the disciplines was introduced in Fudan uh, University uh, was uh, 1914. And uh, a couple of years later, in 1929, the law department separated from uh, other subjects, uh, other uh, departments was established. And in 1980s, uh, the university reestablished the legal education and incorporated a new law department. And then later in 2000, we established the Food and Law School as a single school separated from uh, uh, political science, from uh, social science and other subjects. So that's a very brief introduction or a brief history of our uh, law school. And uh, so, so far we have uh, uh, run away uh, over 100 years. And uh, now we have a very good location in, in China and especially in, in Shanghai. And uh, so far we have uh, an, uh, more than 1,900 students uh, on campus, and uh, uh, among those, nearly 200 international students. And uh, so far, we have uh, 
a kind of a comprehensive programs to cover all levels of uh, students. Actually, we have uh, the LLB program that is a bachelor program for uh, undergraduates. And uh, we have a LLM LLM program uh, for the Chinese students with uh, uh, low backgrounds and uh, also for Chinese students without low backgrounds. And we have a, a LM program for international students. That is LM program in Chinese business law. And later I will focus on this uh, program. And we also have a GM program. Uh, we are also, uh, and, uh, sorry, this GM program is open for, uh, is open to uh, the students with and or without law backgrounds. We also have uh, PhD programs. And uh, among those different types of uh, uh, programs, most of them are taught in Chinese, are taught in Chinese. So if you have a very good uh, level of Chinese, you can try to apply to those kind of uh, programs. And uh, for international students without Chinese basis, and uh, I recommend you to apply to the LM program in Chinese business law. And this is uh, our uh, um, in Chinese business law program. And uh, first, uh, uh, in the aim of uh, this program is for foreign lawyers, executives, students, and professionals engaging in international trade or interested in Chinese business and uh, financial law. And uh, this program was established in 2010, that, uh, that is about 14 years ago. And uh, uh, the period of uh, this program is two years. And this is a two year program. The one year, especially for the first year of this program, is about the courses and the students need to uh, choose. I think it's not a lot of, but it's kind of a, a many courses for the first year. And the second year, usually students need not to register any courses. They just need to write their dissertations, the graduation thesis, and that's fine. And uh, for the second year, then there is no compulsory courses registration, but there is a compulsory registration, not the courses registration, but the 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 academic registration. So then there is no compulsory courses. The student can do a lot of things, both in China and uh, abroad. And they just need to write their dissertations. So that's the allocation of time during the two period, uh, two years. And uh, uh, in terms of the scholarship, actually, we have two basic kinds of uh, scholarship. One scholarship is uh, the freshman scholarship. It depends on the enrollment of uh, the international students. And uh, we also have academic scholarship. And uh, usually the academic scholarship is uh, on the second year. And it depends on the academic performance of the students in their first year. And of course, beyond the two types of scholarship supported by our law school, you can apply for the government scholarship. 
So that's uh, the basic information is about the uh, uh, program in Chinese business law. And here are some reasons and here are some factors to, uh, I think, to introduce you about our uh, program. And the first is uh, the location. We are in the preeminent city location with dense business atmospheres. And we have a, a special uh, or specialized library uh, with rich co collections of uh, law books. And we also have outstanding professors and teachers to provide guidance and advice. And we also have a convenient facilities and beautiful campus environment. And we also have abundant employment opportunities. And later, I will show you a, a, a short video and you can find a manner of the, uh, the, the, the factors uh, introduced here. And uh, as to the location, uh, you, you might have uh, uh, known the city of Shanghai actually uh, in terms of the legal field. And Shanghai is uh, also one of the most important uh, cities in China. And uh, uh, for example, uh, in terms of the uh, dispute resolution, in addition to the course of law, actually many cities establish uh, the, the arbitration commission as the main or one of the main measures to settle the disputes. And actually, in Shanghai, there are at least three mainstream uh, arbitration commission. Shanghai Arbitration Commission, Shanghai International Arbitration Center, and uh, uh, the branch of uh, uh, CTAC. So Shanghai is attracting many arbitration commissions here the might open branches in Shanghai. And this is a kind of a indicator that illustrates the status of Shanghai as a kind of a center for the settlement disputes. So this is a Shanghai and uh, our program, uh, as I have said that, uh, since 2010, our law school launched the program uh, in China, uh, LM program in Chinese business law, and uh, it was taught in English for foreign lawyers, executives, students, and professionals engaging in uh, international trade or just, just interested in Chinese business and financial law. It is uh, designated to design. Uh, sorry, it is designed to take advantages of uh, Shanghai's position as a center of uh, business and finance, uh, including major courses in commercial law and financial law, among others. And actually, through after the two-year study and research, students can develop a comprehensive understanding of Chinese business and financial legal system and so that they can be independently engaged in the financial or legal practice and theory studies. And actually, we have some uh, uh, outstanding alumni. And one of the alumni was entrusted as the uh, principal uh, deputy as one of uh, uh, the most important uh, arbitration center located in uh, another country, another country. So uh, in order to educate uh, the students who are attracted by the LM program in Chinese business law, we provide a, a kind of a, a very broad scope of uh, courses uh, in English. All of the courses are taught in English. We 
have introduction to Chinese law, and we even have uh, introduction to Chinese to, to help the students without any Chinese basis to enter into the basic atmosphere of our law school. So we arranged the uh, introduction to Chinese law. We arranged the uh, courses to help uh, educate a little bit of language skill, Chinese language skill. So we, we have the introduction to Chinese law. And we also have uh, uh, many courses that are related to uh, the overseas investment or foreign investment. Uh, so we have a foreign investment uh, law in China. We have uh, the uh, commercial arbitration, international commercial arbitration. And of course we have uh, the domestic uh, commercial arbitration and we have uh, uh many international uh legal subjects and so we and at the same time we provide uh the domestic uh, law subjects such uh, for example we have chinese civil law we have chinese uh, contract law uh we have a uh, chinese intellectual property law and uh, so on so we provide uh, many, many uh, courses. And here we have Chinese banking law and payment system. We have Chinese uh, uh, securities law, labor law, and uh, maritime law. And we even uh, provide uh, the uh, kind of a popular white collar crimes and uh, Chinese criminal law. So. And that's about the legal, uh, the, the, the law course systems. And uh, the most important things I th think that you, you might be interested in the requirement or the eligibility. So uh, first, the Chinese basis, uh, the, the LLM program in Chinese business law is open for non-Chinese citizens. So. That's the first requirement. The Chinese business law, uh, uh, LM program in Chinese business law is just open for non Chinese citizens. So if you hold the Chinese passport, then you cannot apply it to this program. You can apply it to other programs like the LLB program, the LM program, and the GM program, and the PhD program. So this is a, the, the first requirement. And a, 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 of course, if you would like to come to the campus for study, you must have a, a valid passport. And uh, then you should have a bachelor's degree or above, or just like the master degree or the PhD degree. So if you hold one of those kinds of degrees, then you are eligible to apply to the LM program in Chinese business law. And students should be, uh, uh, should know that, uh, so you, even you are applying our law school, you don't need any law background. So the LM program in Chinese business law is open to all the students who holds at least one of the bachelor degrees or master degrees or doctor degrees with any backgrounds. If you are, uh, you studied, for example, if you studied the arts in your undergraduate time, then you are eligible to apply to the LM program in Chinese business law. And if you are, uh, you were an uh, uh, undergraduate majoring in like mathematics, you are eligible to apply. So the only requirement in terms of the, 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 the courses you selected 
in your university is uh, you must got a bachelor degree at least and it you 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 can have a master degree and you can have a doctor degree so that's about the uh degree as one of the elements of the requirements and then uh, you'd better uh, provide the uh, personal statements of your purpose that are around 1000 words and uh, you'd better have uh, two letters of uh, recommendation and then we have uh, the language requirements uh, because this program is taught in English. So the English uh, language certificate uh, might be uh, compulsory. So we, uh, uh, we require uh, the students who apply for this program with uh, uh, out of IBT score of uh, 90 or above, or IELTS score of uh, uh, 60.5 or above. Actually, we also have uh, some other kind of equivalent uh, uh, things for uh, TOEFL or IELTS, and like Cambridge English test and uh, for the more detailed information, you can uh, go to the online application website that is admission, ISO, and fudan.edu.cn slash. So you can go to this kind of a website to have more information, have more information. So this is the, the eligibility and uh, in order to support the LM program in Chinese business law, and uh, also in order to support the all of the programs in Fan Law School, um, both in uh, taught in Chinese uh, and uh, in taught in Chinese uh, English, we have some. Uh, uh, many research institutes to help the students to broaden their visions. So we have the Human Rights Research Center, we have the Education Law Center, we have uh, IP Law Research Center, we have International uh, Criminal Law Research Center, and we have a uh, Judicial Reform Research Center, we have Financial Law Research Center. And uh, uh, in recent years, we uh, also incorporated uh, uh, many new established centers uh, like uh, the centers uh, that are related to uh, the digital legal issues like the AI uh, legal issues. So uh, more and more centers is on the way. And uh, so that's the uh, other centers. Okay, uh, beyond the uh, research centers, uh, we, in, we we support and uh, we encourage people uh, students to enjoy uh, to, to to join in some uh, multi course competitions, and uh, for example, we have the. Red Cross International Humanitarian Law Mood. We uh, uh, have the students to enjoy uh, to to join uh, Nelson Mandela World Human Rights Moot Court Competition. Uh, you know, students uh, attended a Frankfurt Investment Arbitration Moot Court uh, and uh, William C. Viss International Commercial Arbitration Moot. Young International Mediation Competition, and uh, we, we uh, our law school uh, allocates uh, and uh, uh, is now uh, redesigning the uh, system, the facilities to help students to attend these kinds of uh, uh, moot court or multiple competition. And uh, actually, in practice, 
this kind of um, uh, competitions indeed helped a lot to the students, especially to the students who want to commit the international uh, business issues. So that's about the moot course. And uh, of course, we have some uh, uh, important international cooperations and uh, even international students can use our international cooperation system to be exchange uh, to exchange uh, to, to 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 be a, another uh, for example a third country for uh, or as uh, exchange students so we in order to uh, help the students to facilitate this kind of uh, things we have some uh, uh, mechanisms for example we have international advisory committees and uh, we developed uh, uh, many student exchange program. Actually, now we have more than uh, 35 student exchange programs. And we also developed the double degree pro program. And, uh, and we also have some uh, uh, regular legal forums or regular conferences so that usually means uh, regular usually means uh, uh, the conference or the forum uh, will be held annually annually so it might be held in in China this year and next year it will be held in another country and uh, international students are encouraged to uh, join in this kind of a forum or the conference. And uh, this is our, uh, this is the list of our partner law schools, North American from Harvard Law School to uh, University of uh, California, Davis. Right, Asia, we have uh, National University of Singapore and uh, Kobe University. And in uh, Oceania, we have Bond University. And in Europe, we have so many universities. Uh, the, the universities are in uh, Europe, in Germany, uh, Netherlands, uh, Swiss, Switzerland, uh, and uh, uh, Nordic countries, and uh, uh, the Great Britain, and so many. Uh, uh, partner law schools. Okay, so this is uh, the very brief introduction uh, uh, from our law school that is uh, Fudan Law School. And uh, now I would like to share you a short video to have a kind of a concrete uh, impression about our law school and about our uh, pr um, program in Chinese business law. Hello everyone, uh, my name is uh, Li Mongyi. I'm the program director uh, of uh, the double master's degree program at the School of Journalism at the University. And uh, so today, uh, it's a great pleasure to, to see you all at this event. Uh, so we have more than 70 participants. Uh, so uh, in my presentation, uh, I will mainly introduce to you about two double master's degree programs offered by our university. One is in partnership with LSE and the other uh, with Salesforce. So my talk, um, yeah. So, um, so I will begin by providing you uh, a brief overview of our university and of course our journalism school. Uh, followed by a focus on the curriculum and the unique features of these two programs. And after that, I will uh, talk a bit about uh, the internship, which I think is a very exciting uh, aspect of our program, which allows international students to really uh, earn more professional experiences uh, in China, in Shanghai. And after that, uh, I will talk to you about uh, scholarship opportunities, which I believe uh, should be of great interest to many of you. And later I will show you 
diverse activities uh, offered by FUDA and also by Journalism School. And finally, I will share with you some career paths of our alumni. So, but um, I believe uh, in today's presentations, uh, probably many of my colleagues have already mentioned that uh, we are proud to say that Fudan uh, is among the best universities in China. And in this university, our journalism school holds a special place as the oldest uh, journalism institution in China and also one of the best uh, uh, journalism schools uh, in China and in the world. Uh, we, we have uh, a very vibrant uh, academic community here. Uh, so, we have in total uh, nearly like 100 uh, highly qualified faculties and staff and over 1,800 uh, current students across all levels of study. And among them, actually more than 300 are international students. So we are really proud of our very global, diverse and striving student communities. And uh, now I'd like to show you some photos of our beautiful campus. You can see that uh, this building in red color is the teaching blocks. And uh, you have also here the new media center, uh, which provides our students with a lot of facilities and uh, resources for them to engage in discussions and also uh, to really have the resources and the equipment for producing digital media works. And, um, so as I mentioned, uh, so the pro two programs uh, I would like to introduce to you uh, are both double degree and programs. Uh, so uh, we uh, divided them into two tracks. One is the LSE track and the other is the Science Po track. Um, our two partner institutions are both top academic institutions in the world. Um, so the idea is really to combine um, the strengths, expertise, and networks of different world-class universities so that we can provide a rich experience, education experience for all our students. So you can see that uh, LSE is based in London, and it ranks the third uh, in the QS World University ranking by subject of communication and media studies. And also we are... Uh, the other track, Salesforce track, uh, is in collaboration with uh, Salesforce, uh, one of the best universities in Europe, famous for its influence in political sectors in Europe and also, of course, um, in communication, uh, communications and creative industries. So now let's uh, take a closer look at the curriculum. So you can see that uh, this is the structure, uh, overall structure of the curriculum. Uh, so idea is that uh, the double degree program is a two year master program. So for the first year, our students will spend their first year in either LSE or Science Po. And for the second year, all of the both the LSE track students and Science Po track students, they will come back to Fudan to the School of Journalism. And here I listed some keywords for each track. You could uh, immediately identify the differences, right? Um, like for the LSE track, you can see that it places a relatively stronger emphasis on researching media theories and methodologies. So students will get more courses related to like media studies, communication, and the impact of globalization on these fields. And also you have the sales pool track. Uh, sales pool track uh, has a greater emphasis on practical per, uh, perspectives, uh, aiming to cultivate the leaders in um, creative industries, cultural industries. So it has more courses related to like international marketing, PR, business communication. Well, for the IC track, you will learn more about media and communication theories. But for the second year, uh, all the students will come back to, to Fudan. Um, the, the second year comprises four main parts. Uh, first, of course, are courses. And then you have academic activities, including all kinds of uh, workshops, uh, lectures, and then you have the internship, which I will explain later. And finally, all the students need to complete a master degree thesis. 
So I think, um, as I mentioned, like uh, for the LLC track and the sales school track, each of them have um, their own focus or we could say objectives. Uh, if you are interested, I would really encourage you to check the website of LSE and Sales Pro where you can find very specific uh, details about the course content, uh, which can provide you a clearer understanding uh, of both programs. And now I, I'm going to explain more about uh, the course content of the Fudan year. So for the second year, uh, when students all uh, come together at, at Fudan uh, in the J school, uh, the idea is really to provide you with a deeper understanding of the history of the current uh, landscape and the practices of Chinese journalism and communication industry. So these are courses we provided for the first semester. And you can see the, that there are uh, slight differences between LSC track and Sciences Po track. Uh, for the LSC track, uh, this module, Chinese journalism, history, theory, and practice is uh, mandatory, uh, but selected for the Sciences Po track. While for the Sciences Po track, students need to take uh, the module on principles and creativity of international marketing. And all the students need to take courses related to Chinese language and culture. And for the second year, uh, they will have more courses related to uh, the media culture and creative industries in China. Um, so uh, if you're interested, you can also find more detailed information about these courses on our journalism school's website. So next, uh, I'm gonna talk to you a bit about uh, internship. So which I, I do think is uh, very, important, unique, and the exciting aspect of the program. Um, so here you can see some uh, examples of the employers' uh, employment where our, our uh, previous students did their internship. So the idea is that uh, during students' second year in Fudan, each student needs to complete a 20-day internship in Shanghai in China. And uh, it needs to be related to uh, media or communication industries. So here you can see some examples. Uh, for instance, our previous students have been to chosen to uh, do their internships in uh, media institutions uh, like Six Tone and like Shanghai Daily, and also creative industries and also a lot of uh, marketing and PR branding consulting. Uh, I saw that there, there is a participant requ request to record this meeting. Uh, I guess we, we I, I have to refuse it, uh, but uh, if you have any questions, feel free to, to ask at the end, okay? And uh, so um, also we have uh, a lot of students uh, did their internship at the French consulate uh, in Shanghai, for instance. So we, when we talked to our previous students, we realized that many of them do believe that uh, this internship opportunity uh, is very valuable and sometimes can lead them to their full-time job. And I also think like internship is a great opportunity for our students to go outside the campus to meet new people and really to delve into the everyday life in China and Shanghai. Um, so I put some uh, feedback here. You can see some comments from our previous students. Um, also like Gabriel, uh, they did the, uh, the internship in the Shanghai Symphony and uh, which is also like a very interesting internship. And he believes that the internship uh, experience did help him uh, pursue the dream of working in cultural field. So apart from internships, uh, our double degree program, uh, we regularly organize company visits. The idea is also to help our students to build networks in industry and help them to um, really to, to hear, to learn from people working in media and culture industries. Uh, here are some examples, uh, like we organized the 
uh, visits to to like Alibaba, Shanghai Media Group, Six Tone, TikTok, and this year we took students to to TikTok and uh, uh, Bloomberg. Um, so, and apart from those company visits, we also regularly organize uh, events like visits to galleries um, and uh, art exhibitions in Shanghai. So, um, you could see that we do have a very um, diverse uh, uh, events uh, and activities happening in Kidan. So next, uh, I will talk to explain to you about the scholarship opportunities. So for scholarship opportunities, there are mainly two types of uh, scholarships uh, available uh, for your year at Fudan. So the idea is that for the first year in either the LSE or Sciences Po, um, so if you're interested, you need to check the, the website of these partner institutions to see uh, if there are any funding opportunities for your year in LSC or, or Sciences Po. But for the second year at Fudan, we provide two types of uh, scholarship opportunities. One is the CSC scholarships, uh, which uh, is the Chinese government scholarship. Uh, that's a full scholarship, which means that it can cover uh, the cost of institution, uh, the cost of tuition, accommodation, living, and insur insurance, etc. And uh, so you can see here it's a full scholarship. And if you choose to live in Fudan's accommodation, it's for free. And uh, if you decide to live outside the campus, you can get subsidies for that. And uh, every month you will receive 3,000 um, RMB per, per month. Well, so that's for, for that scholarship, um, the application time and the requirements uh, may may vary slightly from country to country. So where you can find this information, uh, you need to check uh, the Chinese consulate in your home country, uh, which they would put detailed um, application requirements and dates on their websites. So uh, you can also get this information from this website, uh, campuschina.org, okay? And uh, the other type of scholarship uh, is uh, called Fudan J School Scholarship. Uh, this is funded uh, by our journalism school. So the idea is that we want to provide scholarship for students um, that have a great academic performance in during their second year in Fudan. So which means that uh, this uh, scholarship is open for application during students' year, Fudan year. And usually it's when students are about to graduate from Fudan and uh, they, they will uh, start to apply for this scholarship. And uh, so, so this why I just this point, uh, this one is for the Chinese government uh, scholarship. Usually the application time is from January to February. And uh, for the application requirements, you need to check the websites of those embassy of China in different countries. And for the J school scholarship, there are three levels of funding. Uh, so first class, second class and third class. And the requirement is mainly based on student academic performance for the full time year. So we have some requirements on students' GPA and also whether they have successfully um, fulfilled the thesis and internship requirements on time is another uh, aspect to, uh, we consider when, when granting this scholarship. Um, so apart from that, uh, uh, then I will move to, to activities, okay? So in Fudan, we have uh, all sorts of like student clubs and uh, activities. Uh, so this is a photo from this year's uh, student clubs recruiting events. Uh, so there are like hundreds of clubs in Fudan, whether you're interested in astronomy, music, dancing, or esports, you will find uh, friends here interested in the same subjects as you. And uh, yeah. Yeah. 
idea. And uh, the other things that in Fudan, we also regularly organize traditional cultural events. For instance, this video is shooted in September this year. Uh, that's the Moon Festival in China and there were a lot of uh, interesting events related to Chinese culture. Apart from those events organized by the universities, our programs, uh, our double degree program, we also organize a lot of cultural experience events. Uh, for instance, you can see here is a uh, uh, photo photography exhibition organized by uh, international students in our program. They share photos they took uh, during their year in Fudan. And also we organize those uh, international food festivals um as well as alumni events uh this one was from last week actually so every year at the end uh, of the semester we would invite all the teachers uh all the student current students as well as uh students from our previous cohorts to come together and hope those networking events uh, i remember like this year we have uh students doing their thesis in tiktok uh, about TikTok and uh, she happens to meet another alumni who is at the moment working at TikTok and who then provide her with interview opportunities. So I would say like you know, this kind of networking event is also um, very interesting and helpful for, for our students to, to build their networks in China and to meet new people, meet interesting people. So finally, uh, I'd like to show you uh, some uh, the career paths uh, of our alumni. So we actually started this program in about 2009, um, and a, a total of 129 international students have graduated from uh, the J School's double degree program. And these international students, they come from more than 30 countries and regions. So you could see that we really have a very diverse uh, student communities here. And you could see these are the LinkedIn uh, profiles of some of our alumni. Uh, they work, many of them work in marketing, uh, media institutions, advertising and PR agencies, and also doing their own startups. And uh, these are some examples of our graduates' uh, employment choice. Uh, for instance, you can see media institutions such as the Wall Street Journal, uh, Bloomberg News, mm -hmm. Six Tone, and uh, CGTN. And also, you can see like uh, luxury companies such as Kyrene and also Louis Vuitton. Uh, those are mostly uh, from our sales code track, uh, which has more emphasis on PR and marketing, branding, etc. And also we have uh, students go to uh, uh, choose to work at internet companies such as uh, TikTok and Google, and also in advertising agencies or government departments such as the French uh, Embassy in China, and this one, the Ministry of Communications and, and the Information of uh, Singapore. Um, so you could see that our students uh, embark on a very diverse and exciting career paths. Um, and they do find uh, jobs in various sectors within the media and the cultural industries. And these two are our alumni uh, graduated in 2020. Um, so it was during the, the pandemic. And of course, the, the past few 
years have undoubtedly been very challenging for us and for, for the global community as well. And because of the pandemic, our students were unable to join us physically, uh, but still we managed to keep things going by providing virtual courses, virtual meetings. But the good thing is that finally things are getting back to normal and in this September we were so happy to welcome eight international students to join our program and to meet them face to face uh, really reminds us the importance of in-person interactions. So I'm not sure about the time. So, so I provided some, some videos for, uh, you can hear some feedbacks from them. Everyone and good afternoon to all of my classmates, the board of professors and the staff of Fudan University. First of all, I'd like to thank you all for taking part to this very peculiar and one-of-a-kind graduation ceremony today. I'm very happy to be giving the speech for you all today, even though I wish I could do it in person in front of all of you rather than through a webcam, but unfortunately that's not possible. Um, one year ago today, my classmates and I were about to embark on this adventure and set off to Shanghai and begin our life in Fudan. I think I can speak for all of my classmates when I say that when we left for our home countries to come to Fudan, we knew it was going to be an unforgettable year, but we just didn't know it would have been this unforgettable. In fact, whenever I tell somebody that I'm graduating this year, one of the first things that they ask me is, how does it feel to be graduating during COVID-19? And every time a lot of possible answers flash through my mind, such as uh, mm, frustrating, exhausting, or extremely weird. However, I always reply with memorable. I mean, did I, like many of my classmates, have to wake up uh, at 4 a.m. to defend my thesis? Yes, I did. Did I have to put up with online classes and not being able to see my professors in person and spend time with my classmates? Yes, I did. Did I have to give up the thrill of life in Shanghai to retreat to my small and boring hometown? Yes, I did. But on the other hand, these things that we had to put up with and all these things that we had to endure during the past years have contributed to making this academic year even more unforgettable. Because I think this experience has taught all of us that commitment and human connection can be still there in spite of distance and time difference, and they can travel through mics and webcams. Um, I think it's also taught us that sometimes we need to find a compromise and accept things we otherwise wouldn't be willing to do. And I'm particularly referring to all those people who much like me had to wake up at 6, 5 or even 4 a.m. to defend their thesis. Um, but most importantly, I think this experience has taught us not to take things for granted. Because some things that we used to see as ordinary, like a housewarming party, a hug, a drink with friends or even going to classes, now have become an exception, which are only made possible if you're practicing enough social distancing, wearing a mask and using hand sanitizers. For example, having to go to class until 9 p.m. used to be a tedious weekly appointment. But now I think we all wish we could have one last late night China panorama class. So our last year of studies has gone by like this, following this very surreal and dystopian-like movie script. Uh, everyone will always remember this year as the year of COVID-19 or the year of the pandemic. But for us, I think this will also be the year of partying in Shanghai, the year of late night classes, the year of cycling anywhere, and the year of karaoke nights, among many others. Uh, this year okay, is a because of uh, time constraints. I have to uh, stop it here. Uh, but I, by showing this video, I just wanted to uh, emphasize that uh, for J School and for me and my colleagues, we are committed to provide you a supportive environment. So. Thank you again for uh, joining us today and for considering the J School double degree program. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy to, to take uh, any questions. And of course, I would like to wish you a very happy Christmas and winter break. Okay. Okay, everyone. Well, and that's the end for all the introductions of our English taught programs of the university. And uh, uh, because the limited time, we maybe we do not have a uh, session for the Q&A. And uh, uh, we have tried to answer all the questions that you have uh, in the chat. If you have more questions, 
you can also email us. I will put that, uh, the contact information on the screen. Um, so here is uh, uh, contact information of our university, the website, the telephone number, also the email. And also you can find our uh, study at the time account in the Facebook and the Instagram and YouTube. We later will also publish the uh, video of these introductions to the YouTube. Okay. We're happy to uh, have a good time with you here. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, and Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas to everyone. Bye bye.